Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a streamlined correlation matrix. Now, what I mean by a streamlined correlation matrix is a correlation matrix that has only the in variables of interest in the columns rather than a total square correlation matrix. Let me show you what I mean. Now, I'm going to analyze and correlate just like I would normally in a analyzing uh, correlations. Now let's say I had these three variables here at the bottom. Now let's just disregard what these variables actually are. Let's just say I had three variables and I wanted to correlate those three variables with another large number of variables and in this case it's 20. I'm only interested in, the, in a table that has the correlations of these three variables with these 20 variables. Now if I run that analysis this way like you normally would, uh, you will get a correlation matrix that's very large. It'll be 23 by 23. So these are these three columns are the only columns I'm actually interested in in terms of putting a table into a report. But I've got all this extra information uh, over here that goes all the way up to 20 items. I'm not interested in those correlations. I'm only interested in these three columns. Now typically what people do, including myself, is that I would take that table, <coughs> excuse me, and I would put it into a Microsoft Word document and then I would cut the uh, columns out uh, and then I would have the table that I want. And sometimes that can be a pain in the butt because uh, there are occasions where the table exceeds the size of the of the Microsoft Word document or whatever Word document you're using and then you can't you can't actually find the end of the table and you find yourself wrestling with a document that you can't um, cut down to size. Now the way to get around this, if you only want a streamlined correlation matrix, that is these three columns here, a specified number of columns with the remaining rows, what you do is something that you can only do in syntax. To my knowledge you can only do this in syntax. So go into Analyze, Correlate, by variant and then paste the correlations uh, that you that just paste the um, syntax of the the basic uh, generic correlation uh, matrix um, data and actually I'm gonna have to move this and you just take this out the three things that you want you add with and then you add the three variables you want so the variables that you want in the rows are going to be in the first series of uh, variables specified in the variables command and then you add the word with and then you add the three variables of columns that you want the correlations with All right. so the key thing here is to have the word with and then the variables that you want the correlations with and that follows the variables that are actually going to be correlated with in the rows. So what happens when I run that? Well, let's check it out. We get a table that is streamlined only with the correlations that we want, not the extraneous correlations that we're not interested in. So it's not a square correlation matrix, it's a stream streamlined correlation matrix. And this kind of thing can save uh, yourself, and it saves myself uh, a lot of time, uh, and I suspect it'll save you a lot of time if you do this kind of thing on a regular basis. Thanks for listening.